Um, Calvin D'Souza is asking, can Indian law affect you in the West? So why worry then? Well, no, Indian law cannot affect us in the, well, it depends on how you look at it. Literally, no, we are not within Indian jurisdiction. Um, it can affect us in the West in the sense that we have a massive community in India and they are trying to revoke and inhibit as much as they can our access to our community. I believe we're like the largest atheist center community in India. Personally, I think it's worthwhile to protect that. Well, actually, there's one. Um, we, let's not say that because I think there are bigger ones as well. But but okay. we are we are the biggest it, we are the biggest one. religious community. Yeah, we are a large one, uh, and we are the biggest in in the world. But when it comes to each country, there are alternative bigger ones. I know we're the biggest ones and the Phil uh, the biggest atheist community in the Philippines for sure. Um, in India, there are alternatives. But yeah, but we have a very valuable community in India and. When the attacks came at us, they went after our members inside India. One, second of all, the fact that we can uh, these all these uh, legal attacks came at us, um, and we can fight it from outside of India puts us in a better position to be able to challenge all these legal attacks on us uh, relative to people who are in India, right? Like because if you want to go after Hindutva from inside India. Um, they is very intimidating and very risky. We want to like they try to scare us and silence us by all these police filings and legal challenges against us within India. And I think we we want to set a precedent against these bullings uh, to you know set a put you know put it on the record where to show how baseless these police reports and police filings against us are as a way not just to help us but also maybe contribute to the pushback in the Hindutva bullying, right? And also these police filings and everything has affected us, right? Because it was the government, all these all these reports and all these legal battles against us that made the government um, shut down our website and our Facebook page and my personal Facebook account. I don't know how they did that. Inside so India, you can't even message anyone in India. That affects you in the yeah. West. Yeah, yeah. So that has like we have had three hundred thousand members followers on our uh, Facebook page from India, and they were just like that. They were all completely blocked from our Facebook page. And the thing is that our Facebook page was not didn't get a strike or anything. So Facebook acknowledges that we didn't do anything wrong. So the Facebook page is still standing and accessible in other countries. But it's been blocked from India at the request of the government. So it shows that this is just because because of the government didn't want you to see us, not because we did anything wrong, right? Um, also, they took they took us, the Atheist Republic, and me personally, all the way. They mentioned in 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 their in their filings to the Supreme Court of India. Like, guys, this is like the fact that our um, drawings of Hindu goddesses makes warrants in their opinion words such a drastic response so much so that they want to change laws uh, on how social media is censored in india and they're using us as a way to justify all of that again all of this needs to be challenged not just not just for our sake but for indian <laughs> for india's sake and our and if you think like oh government you think like this is about all of india okay fine for our atheist republic members in india's sake the all of this needs to be challenged okay we don't want this we don't want the hindutva you know to come after us and do all of this thing and push us out of twitter and facebook and then we just have no response against it like do you want us to just take that like i know like our, we are it's like a david versus goliath thing that we are like we're just like me and susie and that you know me and susie and our team and that's like the BJP, which is one of the largest political parties of, in the world. No, it, it uh, is the I, largest and the most well-funded. <laughs> yeah. So I know, like, I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying, like, it's going to be an easy fight. Uh, but we just want to make sure that we respond. I don't want to, I don't want us to just take all of this, just lying back and just accepting it. Right. 
I do, I do want there to, we want there to be a record. I mean, I say I, it was Susanna's idea. This is all Susanna's idea. Um, we, we want there to be a record of a pushback and also encourage, and also to set a roadmap to, to test what kind of a pushback works the best we're in discussion. Hold on. Let me talk in discussion with our lawyers. We're going to figure out what is the best pushback. Okay. And also set a roadmap for other people who want to, you know, to 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 you know, to provide a pushback. Like based on what we learn and what is the best way of in challenging all of this, we could start then providing a guide and help to other people that might go to, go through the same thing and tell them what we learned across the way. But yeah, go on, Susanna. I have amazing news. Across what? Someone just donated $100. No. So we just met a third of our goal. No, it's it doesn't not show up yet. yet on the public version, but I can tell from the notifications on my end. So this just turned into almost $500? Yeah, that's amazing. I'm like yes. so excited. Guys, that's this huge. is so great because... Because now we could um, actually pay the next payment that is due to our lawyers, right? Because we need fifteen hundred for all the legal costs, but the first payment that they needed to move forward is already now payable because of your donation. So thank you guys. That is so amazing. That's incredible. And guys, this was... I'm like freaking out right yeah. now. Aww. So if you're watching, <laughs> uh, I won't say your name because you're anonymous, but um, I'm like speechless right now. Thank you so much. That is very sweet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> wow, that's um, amazing. All right. Yeah. I've, I've, Thank I'm, you, whoever. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.